Hello everyone, I am Maria Martinez, and today I wanted to talk to you about three of the main blocks connected to money. The first one is lack, the second one is scarcity, and the third one is poverty consciousness. The first one, lack, that shows up in lack of energy, lack of time. So we want to notice how we're relating or how we're speaking about time, money, and energy because that'll give us an indication of what kind of consciousness we're holding connected to money and the energy of money and how we attract and how we repel money. The second one is scarcity. And scarcity is there isn't enough. There isn't enough for anyone. Um, it's limited there, you know, we can only have so much. So if you're running the program of scarcity, and there's a part of you that says that you can only have so much. So you have difficulty owning your value. You have difficulty owning your worth. You have difficulty getting promotions, achieving more, accessing more, even creating a successful business that brings you more, creates more for yourself. And then the third one is poverty consciousness. Poverty consciousness is living in a state internally of poverty, meaning that uh, very, very similar to lack and scarcity, but that also shows up in the way you manage money and the way you handle money. So you, so you give it away or you settle. You end up settling for a certain amount because that's the state of the set point that you're in. So if you have a business and you, you know, you have fees and you have clients that come in and they want to negotiate that. They want to um, get as much from you, but for the least amount of their investment. So, we, so you want to look at how you're communicating, how you're being, how you're showing up, what you're reflecting out in the world. Is, is it coming from lack? Is it coming from scarcity? Is it coming from poverty consciousness? When it comes to poverty consciousness, when we are running that program of poverty consciousness, we are also mismanaging our money, where we are getting into debt um, or operating from debt, or we have just lots of debt, very little available money. Uh, we're not necessarily putting money away, investing for ourselves or the future. Uh, our savings accounts may not be what it wanted to be. Um, we're not necessarily building financial freedom, financial resources that are going to help us move us move us forward. Poverty consciousness where will also show up in, I don't have enough for that, or that's too expensive, or I can never have that, um, or I would never buy that, or I never spend that much money on that. So we don't see the value of things or we place a certain value on things. So just take a look at that and also take a look at that, who you're attracting as your client, because who you're attracting is two things. It's an indication of what you're at, the, what you're working through uh, and what you're reflecting out. So if you're attracting individuals that are in lack and scarcity, then that's an opportunity for you to work through your own lack and scarcity. If you're attracting individuals that are working through poverty consciousness, then that's the opportunity for you to work through that. Hope that helps. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now.